everyone welcome back to glow up with Flashé. um i know i've been gone for a minute like for a long time but i'm back consistently on in 2023 okay all right so glow up with me we're still going on we're still going strong uh, i'm just coming at you with another like life update video it's a lot going on my life has been very entertaining in a good way um i feel like 2023 is going all the way up. and <laughs> So I'm working on two big projects and um, I miss you guys, okay? I miss you guys. Let me just put that out there first. I miss you guys, okay? Um, I've been doing a lot of other social media platforms, but I said I had to come back to YouTube because, you know, YouTube was my baby first. I've always been a YouTube girl first, you know, regardless of the money, regardless of anything else. I've been a YouTube girl first it's for years. So. I had to come back here and be like, all right, let's just stay consistent and see where it goes. This is a new year. I'm going to see where YouTube goes once I stay consistent and do like weekly vlogs and take you guys in my life a little bit and show you guys what's going on. So I've been filming two big upcoming projects and I'm going to be getting flowed, flown out flew out is that how you say it flown out flew out i'm getting flied out <laughs> i'm going away okay on a big trip um for an upcoming project and i'm going to be filming another upcoming project in the u.s so i've been like getting everything you know intact so i can do what I have to do basically and it's been a lot like it's been a lot like I had to talk to producers I had to be on and off zoom meetings and, and doing like a lot of stuff okay <laughs> let's just say that and I can't give out any real information yet you know I still can't give you guys the real information yet I really can't but once I get everything like all the information I definitely will let you guys know um, here and on my other social media platforms. I'm also going to reinvent um, my coaching platform. I feel like I've missed all my clients. My clients have been reaching out to me and like, hey, what's going on? Um, we missed you. We still want to do coaching sessions with you. Um, since my life got a little bit busy in a good way, in a good way everything is positive good blessings good busyness you know um i have two podcasts now you know glow up with shay um glow up goddess i'm sorry not glow up goddess be the vibe goddess good what am i doing <laughs> glow up with shay is my instagram okay and glow up with rasha is my youtube in my podcast is be the vibe goddess and hush hush taboo talks with juju and shay so i have a lot of projects guys like literally a lot is going on and i've been filming on my other social media platforms um a lot because I've been getting paid through companies and through people you know want their music to be heard on my other platforms so I've been like really 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 busy but I'm going to show some love to YouTube and see where this journey takes me this year so let's see you know and I probably will bring all my other followers to this platform to follow me um because everybody love my talks I've been talking and you know I, I made this one um Thing where I was like be careful who you get your hair and nails done by and this is so freaking true okay and so many people has like agreed with me that it's energy never dies it transfers first of all and if the energy is not right the energy is not right literally your head is your crown okay and your hands are your money makers so you have to protect like yourself at all costs and when i was going to a certain salon a stylist um for washing sets daily like not daily but like every two weeks i was going faithfully every two weeks i found myself being very stagnant very unproductive um no new things you know i'm a venture girl you know i'm i'm a jack a of all trades i call myself because you know i do a lot of stuff and when i'm unproductive there's a problem you know <laughs> like something is not right um no energy can interfere with me because i am protected fully but it can at the end of the day it can when i wasn't in the right headspace too 
so I wasn't meditating, I wasn't praying daily, I wasn't doing my daily stuff, you know. So when that stopped, then, you know, you can fall off a little bit. And I felt like going to this person, the energy just wasn't right. It just wasn't right. So I stopped going and I started doing my own hair. Let me tell you, as soon as I did my own hair, how come I have so many freaking good news come to me? Like literally within a week good news after good news after good news after yes after yes after yes tell me there's not something going on so even with my nails like all right so i went to a new nail person and i usually do my own nails i usually love press-ons i have a press-on haul coming up for you guys and girls and this time i did not do press-ons i went because it was very close to me, the nail salon. And I decided to try somebody new. So I went and got some nails done. And then she was like really being weird. Like she was just like, why are you so tall? You're really tall. Oh my God, you're so tall. Like she was like, it wasn't compliments. It was just, like shady, weird shit. Like, why are you so interested in my height, mama? Like, what are you doing? Like, it was weird. So, you know, I'm like, is she trying to diss me or is she complimenting me? It's like, it was just, just giving weird vibes. So whatever. So after that, I got, I went back like an idiot and got a fill in. Wait, wait, for after that time, when she did my nails the first time, I caught COVID. Like literally right after, like a week after. And I'm like, okay, I'm sick. I got COVID. Blah, blah, blah. It happens, whatever. And now COVID for me is not even that bad because I had it like so many times. It's like the sniffles. But literally COVID is still like you can't be around people. You have to be isolated. Blah, blah, blah. So it's still a bad thing. Um, and I'm like, okay, what the hell? You know what I mean? Like, hmm, weird. So I went back to her like an idiot, like I said. And the second time I went back to her, I had a fill-in. She's still saying the same thing about my height. Like, oh, you're so tall. Oh, my God. So I said something back this time. I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, you're so short. What happened? <laughs> Me being the smart ass that I am. I'm like, you're so short. What happened? What's going on? You missed the growth uh, spurt. You missed the growth sprout. What happened? Like, you're short. Oh, my God. So I, I don't know if she noticed that I was, like, being really shady back. But she was just like taken back by that a little bit and this was at the end after she finished doing my nails i'm like oh my god you're so short oh my god what's wrong with you why you didn't grow so i was just like fucking with her because she always has something to say about my height and then i'm like bitch i'm not going to you again because now you're giving me you're giving me energy that i don't want after that i kid you not i kid you not i caught the flu a week later i caught the flu I've never been sick back to back. I don't even get sick like that. So I know, you know, something ain't right. Like, like my healthy, I'm, I eat right. Like, I take care of myself. Like, I eat right, shit right, drink water, whatever. So after that, when I caught the flu, I knew something wasn't right. I'm like, okay, she's putting some energy on me that I don't want. And I literally made a video about this. And so many people was like, agreeing with me about this and then the stylist was getting offended and i'm like well if you have good energy you shouldn't be getting offended if somebody say something about salons having good energy or the person having good energy because it's the truth it's like if you're working on my head or my nails and you're sitting here wishing evil on me or you're jealous or envious of me then that shit is going to come to me and i'm like uh no so I'm like, this is what I'm going to do from here on out 2023. I'm not getting my hair done by a motherfucking thing. Nobody. And excuse my language in this video because I'm very passionate about this. Nobody. I have my press on nails on, sweetie. Look at this. Fly girl. I did my own hair. Period. Um, I bought everything for myself. Like I bought the blow dryer. I bought my curlers. I bought... Um, mad personal nails from Amazon and from Sheen and I'll do a haul for you guys and girls and like this was really really crazy to me because now I'm like really waking and wake awakening um, from you know the bullcrap like I, I see energy clearly now I feel people energy now and I don't know if I'm growing to something higher into my higher self and in and, and, and 
and stuff like that but now I see things for what they are and I used to be the nice girl like really 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 nice girl um because you know I was spiritual my spiritual journey yes no mistake no mistake um but now I'm like no like I was talking to my mother the other day and I'm like the tolerance for me is this small if if any at this point I do not tolerate bullcrap. I do not tolerate shady comments. If you're shady or you're giving me negative energy, negative vibes, I'm just going to hide your stories, hide your posts. I'm not going to look at your page. I might block you. I might delete you. And I don't owe you an explanation for anything. Um, I'm not going to reach out to you. I'm not going to talk to you. I'm going to cut you off completely. If I feel any negative vibes from you, hating vibes, competition, evil eye, whatever the case, weird shit. Um, that's my vibe in 2023 now. I am not a bitch, but I will be one um, if called so. So moving forward, this is my attitude now in 2023. Um, I'm still me 100%. I'm still positive, optimistic. Um, I'm still reaching for the stars as usual. I'm still being great in all areas of life. And, but now I kind of know myself now because I used to think being, you know, positive person, you have to put up with people's crap. You don't have to put up with people's crap. You're supposed to put people in their place and work that throat chakra, okay? <laughs> like, get into it. Like, tell people about themselves. Don't let people walk all over you. Don't let people try you. Off anything. Like, literally, don't let people get by with a fuck thing. Nothing. Like, this is me in 2023. Nobody's gonna get by with nothing. If you treat me a certain way and you treat me... That's not my value, not my worth. You're getting cut off. Friendships, any type of thing, you're getting cut off. And that's just my attitude this year. Um, I'm not going to be extra friendly like I was before because friendliness um, got me into a place of weakness for certain people. So that is definitely not me going into 2023. And I, I've learned how to mesh myself. And um, I used to have anger problems, anger issues. I learned how to take that power and, and turn it into something else. And now I can be still positive me, but still put people in a place. So I'm like, okay, now I've, and I feel like I've learned how to be me. You know, we grow, we evolve daily on a daily basis, but we never um, really know ourselves because we continuously growing in all aspects of life. Um, I was just talking to my friend and I'm like, I was not the same person I was when I was 19. Definitely not. I'm, I don't even know who that girl is. Like, who is she? Like, whoa. <laughs> like, hell no. <laughs> I'm not the same person I was when I was 23. I'm not the same person I was five years ago. I'm not the same person I was three years ago. Um, and it, it, it grows. We grow continuously. And hopefully you grow in a positive, um, nothing but positive and prosperous path. And that's what I'm, I'm doing. And being mindful about your situations and about who you're with and about who you surround yourself with and your exterior exterior surroundings that will put you in a positive place in general and that's what i've noticed and found out and that's why i have a handful of friends now and i cut everybody off i feel like this batch is the right batch for me i just feel like great family everything like i feel like everything is um great as long as you're being mindful in where you are and who you're with like don't put yourself in a situation where you know you're going to get in trouble or you know you're this person is not for you or you know this person don't like you um and i feel like that was my thing i used to force friendships and force um force just being friendly to people that was not messing with me like that and i would never ever 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 put myself in a situation where I'm too friendly to somebody or forcing a situation that if we don't connect organically, then it would never work. It would never work. It like, um, no. And I'm not open to meeting new people, but I'm not, I don't want to. <laughs> I, I am open to meet new people. Let me for I am open, open to meet, meeting new people, but I, I don't want to. It's not on my list to do. I have things to do i am a busy girl you know in all areas so 
I don't look for friendships no more. That's not a priority in my life anymore. Um, it was. I wanted to be accepted and validated in so many levels with people. Now I'm like, fuck you. I don't care. Like, if you take me or leave me how I am, if you don't like me, who cares? I'm going to be me regardless. So that's my life update, guys. And I hope you enjoyed this freaking video. And I hope you're glowing and growing with me as well. My life coach um, site will be up soon very soon and also get my mindset reset program get my mindset reset program i'm gonna put it into this in the description box below go follow my instagram glow up underscore with shay and go on my other social media platforms so definitely find your passion find your talent find your source be you always glow and always grow and thank you subscribe to me and thumbs up this video